quick tour of our 6x12 bend teardrop named Marvin. So up front we have our standard ball and hitch receiver. There is a 7 pin connector for the brakes. This is also has electronic brakes. Uh, we have a wheeled hitch jack as well. 5 foot storage container that is also has some nice gas struts. In here we have a standard kind of leveling blocks. Um, Garbage receptacle. Chairs. We have chairs, hammock, propane for the grill. If we go to a campsite, we have a 30 amp adapter as well. Uh, this does lock, which is really nice. Coming around to the side. Then on the inside, of course, we do have standard RV doors on either side. Inside here, we have a California King mattress. Have the mattress topper. Okay, so let's talk about the mattress. Now I just sat on this, but we have, let me get it out here. So underneath it's like a flooring finish. And then we have two mattress toppers together in a mattress protector and then a sheet on the top. Same with our pillows. We have pillow protectors and then a pillowcase, which makes them super kind of Hard to sink up in. on the full bunk. We have a mattress topper as well. Mattress protector and sheet up there. Super fun. With our sheets. Also here we have a shelf that goes above the head. On the either side, you can see that on that side, is a shelf for either on the uh, driver's side or passenger side with a reading light that will turn blue or white light. On the top, we have our three light switches for the interior lights. You can see our LED light strips there on either side. And then we have LED light strips on the outside as well. We have under storage. So under there, it's about 20 inches deep and down there, it goes all the way to the end of the trailer. And then we have another storage cubby over there. Also on the bunk side, we do have a uh, regular outlet there that only works with on shore power. Also a USB outlet for the kids' bunk. Uh, it also has a bolt meter there. And on this side, we also have another 12 volt outlet, as well as dual USB ports and a uh, volt meter here as well. Okay, so here we have our galley, which is, I'm so excited about this. Right, in the galley, we have a door that goes up extra tall because I am six foot five, so I made sure that when we ordered this, we had that so I could stand underneath here and do any kind of cooking needed without risk of hitting my head. The next storage up here, don't open anything too tall because the guy can come down and potentially crush the bag of chicken things up there. Also, my storage. We separate the shelves and then two drawers up here. This is kind of like our utility drawer. We keep a first aid kit in here. We're going to be adding a star chart and some knot tying kits, some games and some spray clothes pins because you never know and matches just in case and a magic marker and we'll probably add some pens and pencils over here in this drawer. Ooh, it's kind of icy right there. You have to do this with both hands unless you get it. There we go. There's like a sweet spot in the middle. So we have all of the utensils and stuff here, enough for I think six people. All of the cooking extra stuff, like scrapers and can opener and measuring cups and things. So down here we have, this is where we keep our stove, tablecloth, oven mitts, and then the cooking utensils and pots and pans and there's plates and we have our bowls in here. And then there's a 12 volt there. And then this is all of our battery and solar 
stuff over there. Also in the galley, you can see that we have party lights. These will, you can set this up to blink what the color is doing now. You can change if you want solid color or whatever you want there. You got the light switch, regular, again, 12 volt plug and dual USBs. Here are 110 outlets, right now it's green because this is connected to the house on shore power. When you do connect to shore power, you do need to press the reset button and this is a little stiff. So until it gets kind of broken in, we take a key or something along with it and press that to make sure that goes in. The sink, we don't have any onboard water storage. There is a two gallon modified Coleman cooler that has our spigot. Turn this on here and you can regulate the flow by twisting the nozzle there. Drained in the sink. The sink goes into a pipe that just drains underneath the trailer itself. Side that comes our shore power connector. Since this is such a small trailer, if you have a regular 110 plug at an RV park or campground, you can plug it into that. Or we also, as I showed earlier, we have that 30 volt uh, or 30 amp adapter. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch y'all in the next adventure.